Hello YouTube fans, my name is Leo and welcome back to another video about the Super Santa Client. In today's video, I'll be talking about a very extreme survival story of one woman in France who survived being in a small tiny room in the attic, imprisoned for 25 whole years. And before we get any further into this video, I do want to mention that unfortunately, we've get, we've been getting little um, adding up to our subscriber count. As of now, we only have 135 subscribers. And we actually lost the sub. As previously, when we last made a video during my vacation in Turkey, we had 136 subs. That is nowhere near our goal to 200 subs. And unfortunately, if you don't get me to 200 subs, you can simply forget about such a party it happening, as there will be a party if you get uh, to, to 200 subs. So why not solve that issue by hitting that subscribe button? And also, if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. But now, let's begin. The year is 1849, and today is March 1st. In Potier, France, Blanche Monnier was born to her mother, Louise, and her father, Emile. She had just one brother, Marcel. Early in her life, Blanche was known for her beauty, but her beauty would only last her her first 25 years in life. Later on in her life, she met an older lawyer than her, who she engaged with and wanted to marry. Unfortunately, her mother Louise was in biz, big disliking to the pen, and once and her, her daughter had snuck out of the house to meet with the lawyer, she became really mad. One day when she was coming home, she was carrying a candle because as it was dark in the house to find her way through to her room. Little did she know that her mother Louise and her brother Marcel were waiting for her up top. They dropped her candle down and forced her in, into a small attic room where, the, where little did she know she would stay for, for her next 25 years. The only way she could get out was if she promised to stop engaging with this lawyer. Unfortunately for her, for Louise, that would never happen. And, and that was what made her in prison in, this, in, in, in such a horror. On the first day, she tried to kick her way out of the door and ask her, and ask her, her mother to let her out, but it wouldn't budge. She tried to find some tools, but Louise had made sure that her daughter wouldn't find such tools to help her escape her cell. I say cell because this is actually like a prison, even though technically she's not being arrested for a crime she committed. Anyways, how she got food is also similar to a prison. In prison, especially maximum security prisons, guards get, guards get food through, through a small crack in your cell that a human is not big enough to fit in. That's just what Louise did to Blanche when she was imprisoned. Except, it was much worse than a prison. She barely even slept. Although a bed did show that this imprisonment was in fact planned by Louise and or Marcel. She barely slept because there were rats, ants, cockroaches, lots of animals that stopped her from sleeping. Even when she did sleep, her nightmares in sleep were just as bad as being awake in this zone. Which made it not easy to be here. And she kept time by when she got food, she placed scratch marks on the walls. Those were the only things that happened to her during the imprisonment. The imprisonment even happened after her fiancé died in 1885, removing the whole motive of the imprisonment. However, on May 23, 1901, the French Paris Attorney General received an anonymous letter revealing the Monnier secret. French authorities quickly came to the house, and when they blasted open and Blanche's cell door, they discovered her lying down with excrement and, and, and all these animals. They quickly got her out you know, into sunlight, the first time she'd seen such sunlight in 25 years, and took her to the hospital, where she was diagnosed with several illnesses, which she died from on October 13, 1913. Well, meanwhile, what happened to the others? Louise died only 15 days, days later from an illness she got shortly after being arrested into prison and on June 7th. While Marcel, initially sentenced to 15 months in prison, it was found that freeing someone who he didn't imprison himself was not a crime on the French penal code and he was, and he was forced to have all his charges dropped. What a crazy story that's happened. And, but thank, thank God this woman and finally is released, except she has lots of health, health problems. This is all the information I have for this video. 
So I'll see you next time. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. And bye. Thanks for watching.